What up, yo? It's your girl, Cass. Welcome to my page, my channel. What's up, what's up? Okay, I just want to start off and say, y'all are definitely lying about the weather. And it's showing because it is hot as a mug out here. And y'all definitely lying because it's definitely not no 70, nothing. It's definitely 80 and up right now. Why are you guys lying to the people like that? Why are you lying to the people? It is hot outside, okay? But you know what? If the trick is working on y'all, y'all can go ahead. Because y'all gonna need to believe that that's the real weather so that y'all can stay outside. Because I don't know what y'all gonna do when that shit gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Because it's already hot. I'm just saying. It's already hot. So, good luck on that. But, let me just talk about it. So... I want y'all. Nah, I don't want y'all to do nothing. I'm going to hold myself accountable. Because, like, in my head, I kind of wanted to just do... Because I've been taking a break doing my lives and shit. Because I don't want to say nothing that's, like, not with substance or, like, really helpful. Like, I don't like to get on live just for no reason. For real. I love to build, and that's about it. Anything outside of that is just, like... I could just be, you know, going into self and not having to, not having to deal with that. Well, not deal with it, but not having to, you know, have to show face because I could just either watch somebody else who's like sharing knowledge or just do something else. Okay, so I want to talk about unconditional love. Why I want to talk about unconditional love? Because I feel like y'all think it's something that's, like, not doable or unachievable. Because I seen a video, and they were like, oh, people want to say unconditional love, but in reality, you want ba 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 And they actually brought up children, too, saying that, you know, children... Like, oh, okay, you say it's unconditional, but what happens if your child grows up and becomes a murderer? Then what? I'm still going to love my child. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, y'all really in this age of, like, separation and y'all not seeing it. Because why does anybody else's decision or what anybody else, like, what they do have, why should that be a condition of how you feel about them? They're not doing that because of you. They're doing that because that's what they want to do at the end of the day. That is a projection that has nothing to do with you. So I don't get why y'all will make situations or occasions and be like, oh, I'm going to pick and choose. Like, this is okay. This is not okay. Who are you to say any of that to begin with? Y'all really think it needs to fit your little... Ima- like what your imagination seems or deems to be right or wrong that it needs to fit that no all you need is to find a person that matches you as far as like a partner but i don't believe that i need to dilute my love or have a check list of like oh i can only love you if you fit into this or i can only love you if you do this or if you or if you don't do that or if you agree with that bruh Y'all losing out on so much, especially, like, people. Because, again, y'all think that it's conditional to them. It's conditional to you. Who's making the conditions? You are. So, then I have to t- ask you, like, do you really have self-love? Because it's a projection. So, do you just love yourself sometimes then? Or if you fuck up, you don't love yourself no more? How is it that you can have... I mean, I'm saying, do you have unconditional love for yourself? Because that's a, that would be a conversation to have. Because if you have conditions for yourself, then I could see you having that reflection onto other people because now you're projecting. But if you're going to love yourself no matter what the fuck you do, why wouldn't that projection be to everybody else? Mirrors, reflection. What somebody else to do have nothing to do with you. So if you have unconditional love or self-love, you should be able to have unconditional love and love for everybody else. 
It doesn't matter what they're doing. You don't, and this is what I posted this last rising. I don't have to agree with you to love you. I don't have to agree with you to love you. Like, there's a lot of people who do shit, family fucking included. So all y'all gonna pick and choose like, oh, I don't fuck with my family no more just because they don't do this X, Y, and Z the same way I do it. Y'all are bugging. Y'all are ridiculous. Again, and this is go, it's gonna go back to your conscious and awareness. Because again, y'all love to do this picking and choosing when it's beneficial or convenient. And I don't understand to understand none of that. Because imagine if the universe felt that same way about you. You think the universe, source energy, has conditions when it comes to you? So who the fuck are you then? Do you know yourself? You have to ask these questions because you're very inconsistent. AKA, why you think there should be conditions? What's up? Jonathan like it has to make sense like again are there bad things happening in the world negative things da, 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 that you don't agree with don't support with absolutely but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have hate for you just because I don't agree with what you're doing cause, cause why cause I have an awareness and compassion enough to know that if you're doing anything that's negative or lacking that is that that's exactly what it is. You're lacking. And 9 out of 10, in this in this matrix, you conditioned. You programmed to even be doing what the fuck you're doing in the first place. So, who am I to pick and choose how to love? Either I'm going to love you or I'm not. Period. Right? It's definite. You infinite. Right? Just like being limitless. You guys really got to start paying attention. That's why there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Y'all not even focused on what you need to do. Y'all be focusing, like, and this is what I mean. I don't even care about to talk about certain shit no more because it's just like y'all focuses are wrong to begin with. There's a lot going fucking on. So where's your focus? It should be the healing. So you can actually gain some compassion and some empathy because you lacking. Ooh, stop playing with me. Because you guys are. You're lacking. And it's showing. Because, again, there is no picking and choosing when there's only one. Right? Or am I bugging? Well, you just don't get it because you don't want to get it. Because, again, you lacking. So stop thinking that something is uncon. It's just like to have conditions is to be limited in the fucking first place. You hear me? So if you're conditional, you're not only conditional to just people you're picking and shooting. You're conditional to yourself. Right? Not like because if you can put conditions onto other people, I wonder what conditions do you have for yourself? There is no conditions. There is no limits. Are you paying attention? It's what energy it's like it's the energy you put in and you put out. Within and without. So where's the confusion? Y'all keep letting these this matrix shit have y'all getting lost in the sauce. And it's showing. But hey, again, I am that I am. And I know nothing. I just wanted to say my like tidbit. Because that's been something that I've seen. And it's just like, it's definitely a theme in this matrix. What up? <laughs> it's definitely a theme in this matrix. Y'all have conditions. Y'all think y'all know shit. Y'all think y'all have stuff love, <laughs> but I ain't seeing it. Like, y'all all just talk once again. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who's not getting it. I mean, I highly doubt that, but hey, I'm. it's up for interpretation. I'm more about being consistent. Again, I don't have to agree with you to love you. Because whatever I do, you're going to see it projected. It has nothing to do with you. It was always about me to begin with. So, again, where are these conditions and mindsets coming from? Action speaks out of the words anyways. That's why I say y'all can talk that good shit. Be like, oh, I'm conscious and loving and da 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 But how are you treating people? How are you treating yourself? Hmm? 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 Even expectations. Thank you. That's another one. You're going to end up disappointed. Just be grateful. Like, the keys are already there. Have gratitude. Be unconditional. Be limitless. It's it's all... That only stems from love. Y'all want to downplay love? You're going to end up in the fucking... Doing this shit again. Just so you can learn. Because y'all are numb. AF. Numb. Y'all don't get it. What you what y'all scared of? Hmm? Cause everything conditions stem from fear. Everything stems from lacking in fear. It's really fucking simple, honestly. Like I don't crack <laughs> these codes are really simple. Y'all just complicate shit. Because although it's simple, it requires a lot of energy. Don't sleep. It's easy to write somebody off. It's easy to hate. It's easy to dismiss. It's easy to not be bothered or don't care. That's easy. That's light work. I can't can't even say it's light work. That's dense work because you heavy with it. You heavy with it. The simple shit, the light shit, is actually the real work. <laughs> see how they got you there? Do you see how they got you there? You gonna think again, writing people off, being dismissive. Y'all think that's the light work, that's really the dense work. You dense as fuck because you holding on to shit that really doesn't even fucking matter or benefits you instead of working on it making it light work because because you're actively working on it all the time it's so effortless you're not bogged down by nothing or the bullshit bruh everything here is backwards you understand to overstand that so don't get me wrong right Because this is a conversation that comes off all the time. Well, if I'm dealing with toxic people or toxic people around me, that I'm going to remove myself, blah, blah, blah. Like, I get it. Obviously, there's levels to this shit. We're multidimensional beings. So, use your intelligence like intelligence and your discernment. Obviously, if you're in an abusive relationship, you got to leave. But I'm talking about more about, like, just regular shit mundane stupid shit you know what i'm saying like y'all would easily just write off and just because look it you can't always change your environment so what you gonna do about it let your environment consume you and drown you or are you gonna rise above it are you gonna work on you that you so Above it, that you like nothing can be done to you, bro. That's the real challenge because we can always be running. You can always be running, you don't even get it. You can always run from something, but imagine you standing there and dealing with the challenge. It don't matter where you go, 
you're going to be good because the peace and the soundness is going to be within you. Not in your environment. Because you can go. You can teleport. Time travel. Don't play yourself. Again, be limitless. Go within. You're like immaculate. I need you to know that. But you're only going to know that if you're only from stemming from a place of love. Again, it's more magnetic. It's what's keeping you alive. Stop playing yourself. So all that hate, all those frustrations, all that dislike. Bro, y'all need to work on that. Be more compassionate. Be more empathetic. Trust me, I'm still working on it. It's just not easy. But it's a constant reminder reminder to myself that I need to do it. So understand when I'm talking to you, I'm really talking to myself so I can be aware of this. Because I know how easy it is to fall into the bullshit of thinking that you know it all and it's fixed. Or like you think you're this loving person, right? You have good intentions. But is it really playing out? Because sometimes... You might be doing things and you think you have good intentions, but it's really coming from the ego. You know what I mean? Just because you know you could do it. I'm saying, don't play yourself. Be noble in this shit. Noble. And just be aware of it. It's an awareness at the end of the day. And it's a feeling. It's how you vibrate. Ooh, stop. Anyways, yeah. It's definitely a feeling of how you vibrate. So if I'm intentional about me all the time, making sure I'm operating in love and compassion, that's what more like most matters to me because that's the only way we can even really begin to heal it. Again, we are numb. Y'all scared. Y'all like privacy. Y'all like wearing masks. Y'all and then have the audacity to judge other people on it it's crazy crazy girl like crazy it's crazy so always do that reflection you know what i'm saying look at when yourself is like am i operating i mean the same way i be like to people i say this all the time in my life like i don't even care that people be doing shit or move a certain way i just want to know where was the source of what you did in the first place like what was your intent where did it come from what was the source of it so I got to always check myself too and be like, oh yeah, I think I'm being helpful and all of this. But it's just like, is it coming from a prideful place? Is it coming from like, oh, because I, I want to feel better about myself? Or is it really for the grace of it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because I like I want to do this and I want to be helpful. We have to do that spiritual maintenance because it can get so easy to like in the ego because like oh well what this is what i did for people and hmm what you mean what you did i thought you wanted to do that thought you wanted to help people i thought you know this is what you wanted gotta gotta keep up with that (laughs) i'm just saying i am that i am and i know nothing but there is a such thing as unconditional love y'all should get hip to it because the fact that you even want to move in conditions is crazy i'm limitless you cannot put me in a box fuck your checklist that's what i say (laughs) but that's just me but yeah i'm gonna try to i'm not gonna try we're gonna do i'm gonna go on live every day with a specific message but the theme is always gonna be love and heart and I hope that's consistent. And I hope it will be consistent because I'm going to be mindful and intentional about that. But that's my word for today. And if nobody told you today, and that's the thing too. I want y'all to know that I love you. I know some people might be like, oh, they don't hear it enough. So let me be the one to say, like, if nobody tells you you love you, not even yourself, please like know that I love you because you're my reflection I want you to be the best version of yourself I want you to rise to the occasion every time you are beautiful, you are abundant you are everything gratitude reflection 
Because I think it's so easy to just have a hard heart or a cold heart or a heavy heart. You know what I'm saying? But let's enlighten that. Let's share it. Let's be more open to that. Let's grow our hearts. Let's expand our hearts. That energy, that field, that magnetic field that's always around us. Let's share that. That's it. I hope y'all have an abundant rising. And you know what I mean? Just share the love. Be nice. Be kind. Like, it, it takes nothing away from you to be loving. To be nice. Do you know how many people, like, actually need that in the day? Like, they actually need it. So if you're abundant with it, share it. Don't be so, what's the word, greedy with it. Or hoarding that shit. Expand on it. You don't know who who life you may touch today just because of your little act of kindness. Or just because you said a nice word. Or just because, you know what I mean? Like, bro, what up? You know what I'm saying? It be the little things. Sometimes that have the greatest fucking impact. I'm telling you. You never fucking know. So just be delicate. Be gentle. We all want that. We Again, we all just children. Wanting to be loved, paid attention to, supported. All of us. We might just be, we might be in adult bodies, but we still children at heart. Ooh. And that's where we're lacking. They have unconditional love. So if you don't know how to learn, or if you need an example of that, oh, hell no. How a dog outside like that? What look at this shit. What the fuck? See? But it's okay, though. I'm chilling. <laughs> He didn't come to me, so I must be good energy. But yeah, he kind of threw me off a little bit. But nah, just be kind. Yeah. <laughs> My ass got up real quick. But yeah, just be kind to one another. But yeah, I love y'all. That was just my word. Thank y'all for listening. You know, and spread it. Spread the love. If you can. If you have it in you. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you lacking, then work on your self-love. You know what I mean? That's the best you could do. <laughs> Don't be laughing, y'all. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best. If that's the best y'all can do, that's that's the right place to start. You know what I'm saying? Because only when you're <laughs> only when you're abundant and overflowing can you even share that love for real. It's not about the cup even being full. I had this conversation with one of my reflections too. We was talking about, you know, how they always say the cup half full and half empty. Fuck that. First of all, even if you do get full, it's not enough. I'm letting you know right fucking now, it's not enough. Because now you only content with yourself. But imagine if you overflowing in that abundance. They want you to... The glass is the limit. Y'all don't even get it. The glass itself is the limit. So let's go find out what's outside of the motherfucking glass. Stop playing. Be so much that you even forget there is a glass to begin with. You got to overflow. To the point where you abundant. You everywhere. And then sometimes you'll be like, you'll be like, yo, what's that? What's that shit over there? Cause you now you an ocean. You're like, what's that? What's that thing sparkling over there? You for you even to the point that you even forgot about the glass. And then, but now that you're able to even see it, to know where the fuck you came from, do you have so much gratitude and appreciation? Ooh, stop playing. Burn birds born in the cage, think flying. Yep. Flying is sick. Because they've been limited their whole life. 
it's just like with the um, fruit flies. They put it in a lid and it, it doesn't fly above that. It's a conditioning. Stop limiting yourself. Stop making conditions. Stop having expectations. Because even if you have an expectation, you don't know. People may rise above it or be below it. So have none. So that you can just be grateful for what's given. The singer Tank said the biggest threat of the world today is to see our culture love. Yep, that one love. Hello. All they did was create with separation, competition, and comparison. The blueprint was out there. You just got to pay attention. Y'all so hateful. Y'all so judgmental. I don't know why. Sing for us. I mean, I can carry my own key. You know? Just a little bit. But, nah. Just love. See, I was supposed to be done. But anyways, the, the dog distracted me. But nah, just love. Be kinder, be gentler. Be less reactive. Let's respond more. Just love. Ooh, it feels so good. Y'all even forgot what it feels like. Because y'all so numb. Come on. We gotta do better. One love. We come from one source. Okay? Alright, let me say it again. I love y'all. Y'all have an abundant rising. And just flow. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Gratitude reflection. Mm -mm, gratitude reflection. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all know I'm like a big kid. <laughs> hey, goddess girl. I'm signing off. I'm sorry. But yeah. Because <laughs> y'all will make me stay on here all day if it's really like that. But no. I'm getting off. Thank you. And yes, this goddess that just came in. Different. Different. Y'all better tap in with the goddesses, bro. I've been attracting a lot of like-minded energy. And I love that it's goddesses, too. Because it's only up from here, baby girl. It's only up from here. Up from here. Uh -huh. We get it back in position. Back, back in position. Back in position. Back, back in position. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. If I have anything to do with it anyways. But I can only play my position. You know what I'm saying? I can't make nobody else do nothing. So that's what I'm doing. I am that I am. But yes. Unity, infinity, light, my reflections. And until next time. <laughs>